Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Janice. Thank you for joining me today. For today's video, I participated in a Valentine's Day challenge and I'll tell you a little bit about that a little bit later. So let's start off with the first DIY. So for this one, we're gonna be using the Dollar Tree Heart and I grabbed this wrapping paper last year from TJ Maxx. Um, it's so pretty, it's very heavy duty. And I'm also gonna be using the white chalk paint. So I'm going to be placing the wrapping paper on top of the heart. So I'm just going to place it on the wrapping paper, trace it, and cut it out. So because I don't want the wrapping paper to completely cover the heart, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch all around the heart. So this way, some of the wood will be showing through. To place the wrapping paper down, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge. Now I'm going to place down the wrapping paper right on top of the heart. This wrapping paper is very heavy duty and it's so pretty. Now I'm going to be taking some of these little pieces of lace that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue it on top of the heart, one on each end. Trying to make it as simple as possible so I'm just going to trim off the little pieces that are hanging over the edge. I was debating if I should put some flowers at the top and then when I was looking at it I was like you know I like it simple it's pretty simplicity is the best sometimes. Now I want to create like a tail, so I'm grabbing these two pieces from Dollar Tree. One's a hair tie and the other one's lace from Dollar Tree. So all I did was take another piece of lace and wrapped it around the top. Now I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom of the heart. So I want to add a little bit of the pink around the edges just to give it a little accent color um, to make it a little more antique-ish. If that's a word. <laughs> Off camera, I did use my Cricut and added a word love to the sign. So I want to add a pretty pearl and I could not find any of my pearls anywhere. My box is missing. So I'm going to grab these are like little tacks from Dollar Tree and it has a pearl on the top. So I'm just going to use that and hot glue it down. And this is how it came out. So pretty. Today's a Valentine's Day open challenge and it's hosted by Crafting in Mimi's World, DIY from house to home, Crafting My Best Life with Lisa. We had to use Dollar Tree products to make Valentine's Day DIYs. I will have the playlist linked in my description box below, so make sure you take a look at the playlist. For this DIY, I used Dollar Tree wood hearts and the Dollar Tree little wood sign and Hobby Lobby craft paper. Dollar Tree little, little gem stickers. So the paint to heart, I'm just gonna use this pink vintage colored chalk paint that I got from Michaels. Now 
paper and place it right in the back of the little wood sign and I'm going to trace it and then cut it out. To place the craft paper inside, I'm just going to use the Elmer's glue stick. So I'm going to be using these two jingle blocks to raise up the heart once I place it inside the frame. So I'm just going to hot glue the jingle blocks to the heart and then the heart to the frame. Now add in some glue to the back of the heart and just going to place it right inside. Little Dollar Tree frame. I did not paint it. I didn't do anything to it. I like the natural wood. And now I'm going to take those little gem stickers from Dollar Tree and I place a little, it looks like a diamond. I place it in between the little heart. At the end I did remove it. I didn't really like it. You guys let me know. Did you like the diamond in the middle or did you like it without the diamond in the middle? Let me know. So I'm going to be taking this uh, little ribbon that I got. I believe I got this from Joanne's Fabric. And I'm going to create a little tiny bow and I'm just going to hot glue it right above where that little hole is on the heart to cover it. And that is it. Very cute, very quick and easy. Okay, for this one, it's going to be so quick, but so adorable. I grabbed some Dollar Tree window clings for Valentine's. They have so many to choose from, but I thought these were adorable. And obviously, you know, Dollar Tree carries a lot of pieces of wood. So I grabbed this one, and I'm going to be using my white chalk paint. So I'm not going to paint the whole entire piece of wood. I'm just going to place a little bit of the white paint directly in the middle. Now I'm going to grab those window clings and I decided to use the one that the word that says love. Now I'm just going to place that right over that white paint. Now I'm going to place it down with some um, glue stick with a glue stick, but you can place this right over the paint if it's still wet and it will stay. So I just added a little bit of the, the glue stick underneath it because the paint was dried obviously. This is so quick and easy, but look how cute it came out. You could place this on your shelves or anywhere in your house. I mean, even in a child's room, it's so adorable. And this is how it turned out. All right, so for this one, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of cardstock, white cardstock, and some colored ink pads. I got pink and red. I got these from Michaels. They were 50% off. I believe I paid like $1.50 or something for them. And then magnets. I got these from Dollar Tree. You also need these crystal gems. Dollar Tree had them. I'm not sure if they still do. I got these a few years ago, but I know Hobby Lobby carries them. So what you're going to do first, you're going to open up your ink pad, start off with the, your color, and you're going to take your white craft paper and just place your thumb on the ink pad and place it on the paper. Make as many as you'd like, and you're going to make little thumb hearts. Now, my thumb is kind of chunky. You can use your pointer finger, you can use any finger. You can do this with your kids. This would be a great idea for them. Kind of like a keepsake, you know, and you can also add their names to that or, you know, their initials. So I'm making as many as possible because obviously they're not going to come out perfect. So I'm going to pick the ones that I want to use. I'm going to do the same thing with the pink color. Now they have fluorescent colors. You have green, yellow, blue, purple. You can get a variety of different colors and just make some really pretty little thumb hearts. Now, once you have all your thumb 
hearts all done you're going to grab those little crystals place it over the ones you want to pick and just use your pencil to create a little circle because this is what you're going to be cutting out I'm only going to be doing two to show you how to do this and then I'll show you the results at the end now I'm going to cut out the ones that I picked now that doesn't have to be perfect because once you apply it in the back you can always trim it So now I have it cut out. Now I'm going to place it behind that little crystal and kind of trim it. And then once I have it trimmed, where you can't see any of the paper from the front, I'm going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to apply Mod Podge to place down the little thumbprint. So here, all you're going to do is place some of the Mod Podge right on top of the crystal. You don't want to go too heavy because you don't want it to ruin the little thumbprint. So you're going to go as light as possible. Now you're going to place that little thumbprint right in the back and get it centered. You're going to look at it from the front, make sure it's centered. And at this point, once you have it centered, you can go ahead and trim it. Now, once they're dry, you're going to take the magnets and you're going to flip over the little thumbprints. You're going to take the magnet you're going to use some glue to glue it down. I'm going to be using the wood glue. These are really cute to make and you can place them on your refrigerator or anywhere. Anything that has like the metal that it'll attach to. I think they're adorable. They're really fun to make and I think the kids would have a ball making these. So once you place the magnet right in the back, you're going to let it dry for a couple hours, especially if you're using wood glue. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all these off camera and then I'll show you what everything looks like at the end. They came out really cute. For this one, I'm going to be using four Dollar Tree Wood Hearts and your choice of color paint. I'm going to be using red and a vintage pink color. Two are going to be the red and two are going to be pink. Now I'm going to use this pink vintage chalk paint for the other two hearts. Now everything's dry, I'm going to take Dollar Tree sanding block and I'm going to distress all four of the hearts. I'm going to be using antique wax and I'm just going to apply a little bit of the antique wax around the edges and a little bit at the top to make it look old and rustic. Now I'm going to be adding some letters. Now I got these from Michaels a few years ago and it came with a bunch of other letters, the whole alphabet actually. So I'm just going to place the X, the O, the X, the O, and the pink, the red, the pink, the red. You get the idea. So just gonna place it down with some hot glue and that's basically it. These are little cute rustic looking hearts you can place anywhere in your house. So I wanted to add a little bow so I'm grabbing Dollar Tree jute twine and I'm just gonna roll it around my hand a few times hot glue it to the X and the O. So just two of them are gonna have the bows really quick and easy you can make really adorable rustic hearts for Valentine's
For this one, I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree gift bag. Dollar Tree put out some really cute Valentine's gift bags. And I know they put out more. This was a couple days ago. But I'm just showing you what they have right now. So I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree little heart stand and this gift bag with the hearts. Initially, I was going to use the gift bag around the heart itself, but you'll notice that I change it up a bit. So I'm going to remove the backing because I'm going to paint this little frame with the white chalk paint. I only need a little piece of the bag, so I'm going to cut it in half. Now this part is where I traced the heart and I was going to cut out the heart shape and place it in front, but I didn't like it. So we're going to bypass this. So what I did instead is I just traced out the circle in the middle and I'm going to place that part of the gift bag in the back. So I cut a couple pieces of the hearts from the gift bag and I'm just going to, I'm going to place it down with Mod Podge because the glue stick was not working. So I'm just giving you ideas what you can do with this little frame. You don't have to put pictures in it, but if you have a picture, it certainly would be cute. Um, I do add some vinyl wording at the end, cut out XOXO, and I also added a little gingham pink bow at the corner. Now I'm just taking some of that pink vintage chalk paint, and I'm just going to apply it all around the edges, just a little bit here and there. And that's pretty much it. It's really quick and easy and you can place it anywhere, especially in a little girl's room, it would be adorable. For this one, we're gonna be taking a Dollar Tree metal heart that has those grooves in it. This is the one we're gonna be working with today giving you an idea of what Dollar Tree has out right now. They have so many adorable things. I couldn't believe it. So I was going to use these little roses that I got from Dollar Tree, but I decided later on that I'm not going to be using this rose or the little flowers. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be using this really pretty uh, craft paper that I got this book from Hobby Lobby. And here we go with that little metal grooved heart sign. This has so many pretty prints inside and I got it <clears throat> half off for like $7.50 I think it cost me. If you're into like shabby chic or anything like that, this definitely is a book for you. So I decided on this particular craft paper. I thought it was very pretty, very elegant. And I don't know, I just, I'm liking pink lately. I don't know guys, but I'm just giving you an idea what this book has in there. And you know, not everybody likes Shabby Chic, but if you do, go to Hobby Lobby because they have 50%, no, 40% off on all their little craft books. And I grabbed this one. So for $7.50, I thought it was definitely worth it. All right, so I'm going to remove everything from the sign, the bow, the string, and even the front of the little piece. I'm going to save it though. I thought it was adorable. 
make me smile what is it that you do my life was great till you added so I'm going to be placing the craft paper on top of the metal heart so I'm going to trace it and then cut it just going to use the Mod Podge to place down the craft paper. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video and if you are please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps my channel grow and I really would appreciate it. Applying the Mod Podge I'm making sure that I get enough inside the grooves so this way when I apply the craft paper over the top it'll adhere inside the grooves. Now I'm just going to apply that craft paper right over the top, making sure that I get inside the grooves. So I'm just going to place my finger inside the grooves, making sure the Mod Podge attaches to the craft paper. Because it's metal, I'm going to make sure there's enough Mod Podge around the corners, so I'm just going to go through it again. So I'm going to add some Mod Podge over the top of the craft paper as well. Now that it's dry, I let it dry for a couple hours. I'm going to grab some fabric, and you can use any fabric in, that you have available. I used some canvas, some pink material, and some material that I got from Dollar Tree. So I just ripped a couple pieces, and I'm just going to put them together. I'm going to cut it to make sure they're all the same length. I used a piece of fabric and tied it together. Now I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of the heart. So I'm also going to be adding a little key that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just wrapped that in fabric as well and I'm going to hot glue it right underneath the other fabric. I made this out of fabric and I put a little pearl in the middle. I'm just going to hot glue it right on the left hand side of the heart. I thought it was very pretty. I also made one that's kind of like pink and white. And I thought that was pretty as well, so I'm going to place that down right next to the white one. So now I want to be able to hang it. So I grabbed another piece of that white fabric, and I'm just going to hot glue it to the back of the little heart. This one came out. It's so pretty. You guys got to let me know which one was your favorite today. If you had one, let me know in the comments below. And this is how it turned out. All right, this is going to be the last DIY. So I grabbed this from Dollar Tree and the wood heart from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to paint this with a mixture of the white chalk paint and the vintage pink. I'm going to paint the red heart with the paint called Real Red. So now I want to create the lines for the envelope. So I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to use my pencil because I know I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the edges and around the envelope. So now I'm going to glue the heart right to the middle of the envelope. Now, 
guys, you could tell I'm really tired. I forgot the other lines. <laughs> but I do fix it off camera and it still looks adorable. Now I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree rub-on transfers and I'm going to cut out the part that looks like a little postage stamp. Even though this is an envelope, I still thought it was cute. So I'm just going to place it right at the top of the envelope, right above the heart. So the next word I'm going to be cutting out says airmail. So I want to place something on the heart, so I grabbed the XOXO and I'm going to place that down. I thought it looked cute on the heart. Oh, did not want to come off, so I did fix it with a little marker. I love these little rub-ons, they're so cute. So this one says, handle with care sincerely. So these are really easy to make and it came out so adorable. So the next word I placed down was Tiamo. And now I'm gonna place the XOXO with the little flowers on the corner. And that is it. Look how cute it came out. I love the way it came out. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to take a look at the playlist linked in my description box below. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.